So what is happening, people? Hey guys, Big Sam coming at you. And I have a lot of folks comment, show me what that structure looks like on 2D sonar, because that's what I have on my boat. And I use 2D sonar quite a, quite a bit, uh, especially uh, in junction with the side scan. And it is a great tool to use to find structure. So today, I'm going to specifically run 2D sonar over some of this structure. And most of this structure, I know where it is, so I can get you some good images. And that way, you can relate to what that looks like on your 2D sonar when you spot it on your home lake. So hey guys, stay with me, and I hope you enjoy the video. This first thing we're gonna go over is a it's a tree under the water and uh, we're going to take a look at that and it's on the edge of a drop off so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of put right over top of it and we're going to take a, take a look at it as we go over it on the 2D sonar and so let's, let's look at that. Alright, you can see Stuff there on the bottom here. That is limbs right there that you can see right there. Coming along, you see that is the brush right there. You see how that looks? That is the brush right on the end there. Well, some of these arches of fish that are going to the bottom, but that that's what that treetop looks like. So hopefully that gives you an idea. Now that looks that tree looks like it's got to me, it's got maybe six or seven limbs that are sticking up in the water column so but that's what that brush looks like on the bottom so let's go to our next spot hey guys if you enjoy content about fishing and about hunting and the great outdoors then be sure to subscribe to the channel click that button below so you won't miss tips and techniques new lures new colors and how to be a better fisherman and thanks to all my subscribers Okay, so the next place, as you can see behind me, is a bridge. So we're going to find out whether there's a school of crappy here, and we're just going to look at just fish on the bottom. So let's take a look. And we see that's some shad. There's fish right here, sitting right there. Boom. That's a school of crappy right there. Isolated fish. All right, I'm gonna turn the boat and I'm gonna go back up underneath the bridge just to check it with 2D sonar. All right, we about to go back up under the bridge. See, here we go, there's a column there. I don't know if we, <clears throat> we probably won't see the column, but we can see if there are fish up underneath this bridge with our 2D sonar. See a school of shad, that's shad there. Those individual ones, those are crappy. There's a school of shad. <clears throat> so y'all wanna turn around? <clears throat> I'm gonna turn around and uh, see if we can catch some fish here. See, very simply, you can check your bridges with your 2D sonar to see if there's fish there or if it's worth your while to actually fish. So, hey, let's go catch a fish. Okay, so this, we at a bridge again, and basically I just wanna show you that what the fish look like. Lots of times, crappy will concentrate around these bridge pilots, around the structure around the bridges. And I just happen to be passing by another bridge, so I'm gonna show you that on 2D sonar. I'm uh, putting along about three and a half miles per hour. And so you're gonna see those cones like this. And that is the uh, signature coming on and off the fish. That's why you see them like this. So 
I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to take a look at this. We're almost at the bridge. All right, so we'll see if it's any fish under there. You see the, the bottom depth rises a little bit. There's a, a few fish there. And not sure whether that is shad or crappy. There's a big claw. There's some crappy right there. So let's turn around and see if that was crappy. Okay, I'm going to show you, I, I have to show you this on live scope. Just to prove that what we just saw was crappy. All right, here you go. I think you can see it. My shadow's in there. So this is what we just saw. There is crappy and shad in there. We come right by that pillow. And that's what we just saw. That was a signature that it marked. So all of those are crappy. Right there. Boom. That's what, that's what we just saw right there. Boom, let's go catch a fish. Okay guys, so what I'm getting ready to show you now is a old cedar tree, it's a couple of years old, that I sunk personally myself. And uh, we're gonna go right over top of it, 2D sonar, and take a look just so you can see what it looks like. comes right there that is a cedar tree and it is full of crappy that is what that looks like that is a cedar see how thick it looks and it has fish in it I just looked at them with the live scope so boom that's what that looks like boom I hope that helps you that's what a cedar tree and I know it's a cedar tree because I sunk it let's go to the next one Okay, next on the list is some underwater uh, concrete pilings that was left here in the lake when they built it. And not quite sure what they're going to look like on 2D sonar. Anyway, we're going to ease over top of them. Let me zoom in here and uh, let you take a look at these. So these are concrete columns just piled on the bottom probably from some old structure that was destroyed. All right, that's what that looks like. That is concrete structure. That's what it, that's what the, the latter part of it looks like on down imaging right there. But that's what it looks like on 2D sonar. It just shows the piles and the fish that are around it. Uh, so it looks so on 2D and I'm gonna go back over this too and let you see it again. So it doesn't show you the detail that down imaging does but to look at it you can see we were in 26 feet of water and we came right over top of it and it came up to about 10 feet high so you know that there is some sort of big structure in there. So I'm going to turn around and go right back over top of that. Okay so you can see it coming into view right there. See that big hump comes out of 20 some feet of water. Looks a lot like it did before. You can see there's a second pile there. Boom. That is concrete structure on the bottom. That's what that looks like. I came back over it at a little bit different angle than I did before. So it just looks like looks like a big rock under the water, but it's throwing off a good hard signature because it's concrete, it's like rock. Okay, second place we're gonna go. We're gonna go over an old road bed and show you the drop off. Hopefully we it's got some fish on it, you can see it, but it just drops straight off. There's a concrete abutment there. So you kind of can take a look at that concrete abutment and 
kind of know what that is. Uh, what, what that kind of looks like. And we should be getting close to the drop off. And you can see how it drops off. That is fish. That is probably a school of uh, shad. You see it drops off in here into this deep water to about 25 feet deep. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna go back by it at a different angle. We're gonna come, we're gonna come back by this drop off at a different angle. I'll try to get as close as I can to the drop off itself. All right, boom, there you see that is probably a school of crappy could be a school of bass. Uh, there you can see that that is the top of the road bed. And there's the drop off there. You can see some uh, suspended fish here, more fish here. So there are some fish here. Okay, there's so many fish here. I gotta turn around and see if it's a fish. Hey. So this place is uh, just a point and an old bridge, some pilings under the water, uh, old wooden pilings on a steep drop off. So we'll go over that. There's more than likely a bunch of crappy here. And uh, so we'll take a look and see what that looks like. So that is the top of the drop off, of course. That is part of it there. We're gonna turn around and go back over it. That is part of the drop off. That is part of the structure. That's probably fish stacked up there. See it coming up here. And I'm gonna show you this, what it looks like on live scope, but you can see where it comes up on the drop off. And that just looks like a blob, but that is coming right up off this drop off right here. All right, I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt to go right back over it in a different direction, and we'll see if we can get a look at what it looks like. There's some of the structure there on the bottom, and that's just a different direction. That's all structure there with some fish around it. Boom. I get a wide shot of it. So this is my suggestion. If it looks like some structure on the bottom or a pile of fish, I find a lot of fish with 2D sonar, go ahead and mark it and just fish it. Okay guys, we're getting ready to end the video. I uh, hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. I hope you've seen something in the video that helped you uh, on recognizing stuff on 2D sonar. A lot of times a big group of fish may look like a brush pile on 2D sonar. Uh, the more you use it, the better you'll get at it. So you remember, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Don't forget to hit that like button, click the notification bell, so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water.